Good morning, just getting myself set up. So I'm likely going to pop in a couple minutes later than my scheduled time, 7.30 a.m. from now on because we have a few people in our neighbourhood that it seems that they go to work at that time and they have like these big V8 engines that they love, the whole world knowing that they have big V8 engines. And so um, they're very, very noisy. So I'm choosing to do my lives now just a couple minutes later once they've gone through the neighbourhood. Morning, baby. We are day 17. Holy cow. Uh, it is Friday here where I am, and I am all geared up for my gym and swim morning, so I'm super excited. And today I'm going to talk to you about the pineal. Now, the pineal is a endocrine gland or hormone-producing gland really deep in the centre of the brain and it is a really common player and occurrence that comes up in people's body talk sessions a lot. Even when I do, say, family matrix sessions, business matrix sessions, the pineal aspect of something, what it does, the way that its personality expresses itself, its consciousness, factors into those sessions very, very heavily. It for me, it always comes up as having a very, very strong relationship with one of its other best friends in the brain, which is the pituitary. So when I think of the pineal, automatically its relationship with the pituitary comes up for me. The pineal really sort of represents and has an impact on the masculine energies of the body-mind complex. Now, it doesn't matter if you are in a female body, if you are in a male body, we still hold masculine energies, we still hold feminine energies. So it definitely has an impact on that. The pineal also has a very big hand at can you hear the birds? We've got tons of birds here this morning. They're happy as Friday as well. Um, the pineal has a very big impact on your overall well-being, your balance. So what that means is not just physically, but spiritually, emotionally, psychologically. So quite often if somebody comes to see me or I do a session via distance and they say to me, I just don't feel right, I feel out of whack, I feel disjointed, I don't feel like I'm connected, I don't feel anchored, uh, everything in my life feels out of balance, like nothing's going right. Quite often the pineal is a really big player in all of that. Now the pineal produces a hormone called melatonin, super, super important for helping you get good rest and sleep helping you have a good um, rhythm and cycle. So everyone's on a 24-hour cycle and there's tons of things that happens within that. There's all these meridian um, sequencing that the body-mind complex moves through. So then that pineal is super important in producing melatonin. Um, the other thing that it does is it helps keep you synchronised with the seasons, right? So if somebody comes into clinic and they have a really big adversity to say winter or humidity or the wind or something like that, sometimes the pineal can actually be a part of that because it's not helping the body-mind complex to synchronise with the environment, with the seasons and with the ebb and flow of the seasons as they change from one to the other. So it's quite often that they come up. Morning, love the V8s. Which one's that, the V8 supercars or the V8 birds? Is that what they're called? You'll have to tell me. Because if it's V8 supercars, uh, I'm a mad lover of V8 supercars. I actually schedule my teaching schedule around the V8 supercar schedule. That's a bit of a top tip for you that you probably didn't know. The pineal also has a lot to do with the crown chakra, which some of you would be familiar with. And good morning, Margie Elliott. And a person's spirituality. So if somebody is looking to get back into the rhythm of something, whether it's just the rhythm of life, whether they're recovering from surgery, whether they are have been away from work and they need to get back into work, whether it's going into a new relationship of some kind of friendship, 
um, a new personal relationship and it's try to find a rhythm very very often this pineal gland comes up so if you are interested in getting in touch with it understanding this little gland that looks like a pine cone shaped like a pine cone deep center in the brain just google image of a pineal p-i-n-e-a-l and it will bring it up for you then you can understand this little hormone producing gland that sits deep in the brain that has such a big impact on how you feel every single day beautiful so with the pineal in mind that's going to be my soft focus for the day we're going to go ahead and tap out cortices and before we do that what I'm going to do is because we've done a top tip and it's a different one every single day uh, somebody mentioned that they were looking for one in particular but it wasn't I haven't labeled them so I'm going to go back through, just label what they are specifically, what our focus was for that day. If you need to resource one and go back and watch it again, then you can do that. And we'll do that by the weekend, okay? So let's start first hand position, placed on the occiput region of the head, focusing on that occiput part of the brain. I'm going to go ahead, tap this in, nice big deep breaths. And we're tapping over head brain, heart brain, and gut brain. To the second hand position, we're getting more into the parietal lobe of the brain now. Morning, Lynn. And down. Make sure you're just connecting with both sides of the brain. So you do that either like that, or you can do it so that you're connecting your, your palm and your fingers from one side to the other, which is how I like to do it. That way, if I do it like that, I'm not blocking you either. Okay, next hand position. Attention is on the brain. Intention is on communication between both hemispheres of the brain. Intention is that it improves communication between the brain and the rest of the body. Next hand position. Intention is that it improves communication and relationship between the head brain, the heart brain and the gut brain, which is diabolically important. That's going to be my word for the day. And intention is that it improves circulation. Move your hand to the next hand position. So we always go all the way around to the front of the eyebrows. So that would be things like circulation of blood supply, nerve supply, lymphatic supply. We have lots of other yummy little structures in there that have a really important role. So circulation of neurons, protons, Solitrons. Circulation of meridian channels, meridian energy. Hand goes on the side of the brain, the side of the head. Fingers are closed together. We take a couple of nice big deep breaths here and there. Always do at least two. One hand away, tapping in over all three brains, or pretend that your hands are in gloves. You're sliding your hands out of those gloves, so you're leaving the imprint still there. And then you can go ahead and tap out the three brains. Beautiful. Okay, so... If you have any questions about the pineal, if you have any questions about the cortices technique, doesn't matter what it is, if you have any feedback, any unusual experiences that you're not quite sure about, like Linda did the other day, then by all means put it into the comments and I will follow it up tomorrow morning, okay? Or I'll be able to answer it in there depending on what it is. It might be something I want to talk about in person, okay? Have an amazing Friday or Thursday night, depending on where you are, and I'll talk to you really soon. Bye.